Hello everyone and welcome to Smike TV. Today I made a list of the top 10 weapons in Skyrim and uh, these weapons are not necessarily ranked by uh, how good they are but more by how badass they are. So let's get right to it. Also for every weapon there will be an annotation on the top of the screen and you can click that and you'll be brought to a tutorial on how to get it. So up at number 10 we have Children, which is a blue glass sword and also may I add the only blue glass sword in the game considering all of the other glass swords are green. And uh, this sword does 30 points of frost damage and has a chance to paralyze the target for 2 seconds. Uh, it belonged to Mercer Fry, the Thieves Guild leader, but now you get it in your possession. And uh, it's a unique weapon which can be also disenchanted at the Arcane Enchanter. And uh, it is pretty fucking badass. It glows blue, it has like this frost uh, enchantment effect on it, and uh, it's pretty fucking powerful, so you gotta get it. Up at number 9 we have a Daedric Artifact, and this one is a real vampire killer. When you attack an enemy with it, they burn for 10 points of fire damage, and if you kill undead with it, they have a chance to blow up, which causes damage to every nearby undead around them. So it's very effective, uh, it's also very effective if you're playing the Dawnguard DLC, since it has a lot of vampires to kill. And uh, yeah, this one has this glow thing, glow effect on it, and it's really pretty fucking badass. So you gotta get it, and uh, yeah, let's move on. Up at number 8, we have another Daedric Artifact, which is the Mayrun's Razor. And the Mayrun's Razor is a small dagger, but trust me, it's very deadly indeed. It has a chance to kill the enemy in one hit, but it's a very, very small chance, and uh, if you get it, it's very satisfying, I gotta tell you that. Uh, I kill dragons with this thing easily, but to get kills with this weapon, you gotta spam the crap out of the enemies and have a little bit of luck. And once again for number 7, we have another Daedric Artifact, this time Mephala's Ebony Blade, which is truly pure evil. Uh, it requires you to kill your allies, which makes it stronger and makes it more powerful. This weapon is also accompanied with Mephala's sexy ass voice to commentate over your killings, which is pretty fucking awesome. And at number 6, we have Windshear, which is a curved sword, a fucking curved sword. And I really shouldn't say anything more, but this sword uh, has a chance of knocking enemies off their feet. And the second ability is even more awesome than that. And uh, it allows you to make them stagger on every single hit. And it makes it perfect for 1v1 combat because uh, the enemy cannot fight back and they can't really run away. And uh, yeah, it's just fucking overpowered. And now up at number 5, we have the Mace of Molag Bal, which you get for doing uh, a quest for Molag Bal. And uh, this is another Daedric Artifact, and it deals 25 damage to Stamina and Magicka, and also it has uh, the ability to fill Soul Gems. And that means if you have this weapon and the Black Star, it pretty much refuels itself. Now number 4 is a new addition that was included in the DLC Dawnguard. I'm talking of course about the crossbow, and uh, the crossbow is better than the bow when it comes to damage, but it has a very slow reload rate. So what I recommend is uh, using the crossbow when attacking individuals or while sneaking, and using the bow when attacking groups of enemies. And for number 3 we have the Nightingale bow, the most badass bow in the whole game in my opinion. You get this bow from Carlia after killing Mercer Fry in the Thieves Guild storyline, um, specifically the uh, Nightingale sub-story. And the Nightingales are a secluded sect from the Thieves Guild and they worship Nocturnal. So this bow is most powerful if you get it at level 46 or more, uh, having a base damage of 19 and having uh, 30 points of freeze damage and 15 points of shock damage. And for number 2 we have the dual Daedric Daggers. Uh, you can make these by either crafting them, and to craft them you need one Daedric Heart, one Leather Strip, and one Ebony Ingot. Or you can actually loot them by finding them throughout Skyrim, and they will start to pop up uh, randomly around Skyrim at level 46. These daggers are perfect for any assassin or stealthy type characters. They fit perfectly with the Dark Brotherhood, Nightingale, and uh, Thieves Guild outfits. They have a very good cosmetic, badass appearance to them. And uh, yeah, let's move on to number 1. And finally for number 1 we have another Daedric Artifact that comes back from Oblivion. And uh, this one is the Wabajack, which was created by Shogorath himself, the Lord of Madness. This weapon is truly the avatar of Shogorath, as he chooses to help or hinder the people he encounters. Because uh, he is the Lord of Madness after all. When shot, this weapon causes a random effect. It can either cause a fireball, a thunderbolt, a frost rune. It can even heal the enemy. It can even transform them into a mud crab, a chicken, or a dromora. And in some rare cases, it can even make them explode into a pile of gold. So finally, this is probably the most fun weapon in the whole game. 
So thanks for watching guys, as always, uh, leave me your awesome ideas in the comment section below, and also tell me what I can improve next time I make this type of video, because this is the second time I make this uh, kind of video, and other than that, like if you want to see more videos like this, and subscribe to see more uploads of mine, and finally, may Talos guide you in all of your endeavors, see you guys later.